For decades, we've looked out at space and told ourselves one thing. The edge of the solar system is just empty, a cold, silent border where the influence of our sun fades into the background noise of the galaxy. This assumption has shaped our understanding of the cosmos, rooted in the belief that beyond the planets, beyond the Kuiper belt, lies a vast void where nothing significant happens. It's a comforting thought, one that places humanity at the center of a predictable universe. But now, Voyager 1 is showing us we were wrong. More than 45 years into its mission, Voyager 1 has just detected something no one can explain. Not a planet, not a star, not a signal from Earth. It's an anomaly, a ripple at the edge of everything we thought we understood. And it's not random. It's structured, it's repeating, and it's whispering a message we may not be ready to hear. This discovery challenges the very foundation of our cosmic perspective, forcing us to reconsider what we believe about the boundaries of our solar system and our place in the galaxy. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, was designed to be a messenger, a scout, a survivor. It was part of NASA's ambitious Voyager program, aimed at exploring the outer planets and, eventually, the interstellar medium. It flew past Jupiter and Saturn, capturing history-changing images, stunning views of Jupiter's great red spot and Saturn's intricate rings that redefined our understanding of these gas giants. Then, unlike any other spacecraft, it kept going. In 2012, it officially crossed the heliopause, the invisible line where the sun's magnetic influence ends and interstellar space begins. Scientists expected calm, stillness, a slow fade into darkness as Voyager 1 drifted further from the sun's warmth. But what Voyager 1 encountered was different. Instead of silence, it began detecting strange magnetic ripples, vibrations in the field, patterns in the radiation. And now, those disturbances have become more intense and more organized, suggesting that the edge of our solar system is far more dynamic than we ever imagined. The heliopause was once believed to be a shield, protecting us from cosmic rays and galactic chaos. Astrophysicists viewed it as a boundary where the solar wind a stream of charged particles from the sun, meets the interstellar medium, creating a protective bubble around our solar system. But Voyager 1 is showing us something terrifying. The edge of the solar system may not be a barrier, but a battleground. The spacecraft is now picking up fluctuations that shouldn't exist, repeating signals, shifts in energy patterns, even distortions in time-based telemetry like echoes bouncing off something invisible. These anomalies defy our current models of physics. Some scientists now believe Voyager 1 isn't just listening. It may be being listened to. Because this isn't noise, it's a pattern, and patterns don't form on their own. The idea that something out there might be responding to Voyager's presence raises profound questions about the nature of interstellar space and whether we are truly alone. What if space isn't empty? What if the galaxy isn't a random scattering of stars, but a web, a network of energy currents invisible to the naked eye, threading through the cosmos like arteries in a cosmic body? This concept, while speculative, aligns with emerging theories in cosmology that suggest the universe may be interconnected in ways we don't yet fully understand. That's what some researchers now suggest, that Voyager 1 may have stumbled into an interstellar current, a force that connects solar systems, guides energy, and possibly even carries signals, not natural ones, but intentional ones. If this is true, the heliopause may not just be a scientific boundary. It could be a checkpoint, a place where forces beyond our understanding are watching filtering, even deciding who gets through. 
This idea pushes the boundaries of science into the realm of philosophy, forcing us to confront the possibility that the cosmos is not just a physical space, but a structured system with purpose. The most unsettling part, the latest data from Voyager 1 shows signs of a repeating pulse, one that follows a structured rhythm far too consistent to be noise. And it's not coming from the sun, it's coming from beyond. This pulse, detected in the spacecraft's plasma wave instrument, has a frequency and rhythm that defy natural explanations like stellar winds or cosmic ray interactions. Could this be a natural phenomenon we simply don't understand? Or is Voyager 1 now picking up a signal that was never meant for us, but that we're hearing anyway? Some physicists have even suggested that Voyager's long mission may have accidentally tuned itself into a galactic frequency like a lost antenna finally picking up the universe's hidden broadcast. This hypothesis draws parallels to radio astronomy, where unexpected signals often lead to groundbreaking discoveries, such as pulsars. And if that's the case, then we need to ask the question we've been avoiding for decades. Are we the only ones listening? Or are we the only ones just starting to hear? Voyager 1's instruments are old, worn, and not meant for interstellar decoding. Launched with 1970s technology, its systems were designed for planetary exploration, not deep space signal analysis. But engineers have recently noticed that certain telemetry readings, long dismissed as static, actually show repeating low-frequency pulses embedded deep in the noise floor. These pulses aren't constant. They flare up and vanish in precise intervals. And when scientists mapped them out across time, a pattern emerged. They align with Earth's position relative to the galactic center. This alignment is particularly disturbing because it suggests a level of coordination that random cosmic phenomena are unlikely to produce. In other words, they're tracking us or reacting to us. The question is, why? Is this a natural process we've yet to comprehend, or is something, or someone, monitoring our planet's movement through the galaxy? Now, some astrophysicists, no longer satisfied with the limitations of conventional models, have begun entertaining a radical idea that the galaxy contains engineered regions, vast structures or zones created by an ancient intelligence. This is known as the architect hypothesis. In this model, space isn't a wilderness. It's built, at least in part. The concept draws inspiration from speculative ideas like Dyson spheres or Kardashev scale civilizations, which propose that advanced societies could construct megastructures to harness cosmic energy. Voyager 1's recent readings, its magnetic distortions, gravity anomalies, and pulse signatures match predictions made by theorists about how energy would behave near a controlled interstellar system. Could Voyager 1 be skimming the edge of an ancient mechanism, still running after billions of years? If so, we may have just knocked on a door that was never meant to be opened. This possibility, while far from proven, ignites the imagination and underscores how little we know about the universe beyond our solar system. When Voyager 1 was launched, it carried a message. The Golden Record, a collection of sounds, languages, and music meant for any civilization that might one day find it. Curated by Carl Sagan and his team, the record was a snapshot of humanity's culture and aspirations, etched onto a gold-plated disc. But what if that record isn't just a greeting? What if it's a beacon? Some now theorize that the electromagnetic signature of the record, its materials, its spin, its frequency, could act like a tag, allowing it to be identified and tracked by systems far more advanced than our own. If Voyager 1 has now entered one of those systems, the golden record may have activated something, not because we meant to, but because it was designed to respond to signs of intention. This idea suggests 
that our attempt to communicate with the cosmos may have unintended consequences, turning Voyager into a cosmic signal flare. We still believe Voyager 1 belongs to us, a human creation carrying a human story. But what if it no longer serves that purpose? What if, drifting 23 billion kilometers from home, it's now part of another network, another design, one we can't see and didn't build? Recent anomalies in its signal structure suggest external modulation, something influencing the frequency from beyond its hardware limitations, as if the craft itself is being reprogrammed or at least repurposed. If that's true, then Voyager may now be acting as a relay, a node in a larger system, and what it's transmitting may no longer be meant for us. This raises ethical and existential questions. Does Voyager still represent humanity, or has it been co-opted by an unknown force? For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 has carried our story into the stars, a machine built by human hands drifting through the unknown like a message in a bottle. But now, at the edge of everything we know, it's whispering back something we never expected to hear. Structured pulses, magnetic ripples, Anomalies too precise to be chaos. Voyager wasn't just a scout. It may have been a signal, a test, a trigger, a key. And now, something is answering. Whether it's a force of nature we don't yet understand, or a system designed long before Earth ever formed, we've touched it, not with a satellite, but with a question. And if Voyager 1 has entered a region of space built for listening, or worse, built for watching, then the greatest discovery of our time won't be what we've seen, but what's already seen us. Let us know what you think in the comments. Did Voyager stumble into something ancient or awaken it? Subscribe and turn on notifications, because if this is the end of Voyager's silence, it might be the beginning of the universe finally speaking back.